This episode of Branson Entertainment Update is brought to you by Legends in Concert inside the Dick Clark American Bandstand Theater and Acres and Arnie. Hi everyone, you're watching Branson Entertainment Update. My name is Bob Nichols and each week I bring you the entertainment news stories that are fresh and happening now. This week, we'll be visiting the cast of the new show Encore on board the showboat Branson Bell. But first, here's what's going on around Branson. Running now through April 20th is a new exhibit of painting and paper sculpture by Kansas City artist Linnea Gabriella Spranzi. The exhibit, titled Conundrum, is being displayed at the Boger Gallery in the Jones Learning Center at College of the Ozarks. The gallery is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. during the week and 1 to 5 on weekends. The grand opening of Hooray for Hollywood will be this Thursday, March 31st at 7.30 p.m. at the Branson Variety Theater. Don't miss this new anticipated smash hit. Call the box office at 417-334-2500 for reservations. Greatest Adventures Miniature Golf this year will be hosting the U.S. Open Miniature Golf Tournament May 12th through the 15th. The public is invited to play in the Pro-Am Charity Tournament on May 12th to benefit Branson Senior Center. Two movie stars, Charlie O'Connell and Ted Detweiler, along with many local performers, will be there to support this event. So for more information or to be a sponsor, call 417-332-0888. It has been five months since Branson said goodbye to longtime entertainer Lloyd Presley. He's currently being honored in a five-minute segment during the Presley's Country Jubilee Show with some of the songs he performed over the years. For more information to enjoy this special segment in their show, call 800-335-4874. Now the fifth annual Branson Elvis Festival will be held at Dick Clark's American Bandstand Theater, home of Legends in Concert, on April 15th through the 17th. The highlight of the festival, the ultimate Elvis Tribute Artist Contest. This takes place on Saturday, April 16th at 7 p.m. For more information, just visit BransonElvisFestival.com or call 417-339-3003. Our very own Branson Arts Council's first community concert of the season will take place on Sunday, April 3rd, 2 p.m. at the Old Stone Church here in Branson. For information about this or upcoming concerts, just call the Branson Arts Council's office at 417-336-4255 or go to BransonArtsCouncil.com. Now friends, when we come back, we'll be on board the Showboat Branson Bell interviewing the cast of their brand new show, Encore, for this year. So stay tuned to the Vacation Channel. We'll be right back with more entertainment updates. Brand new show on the Showboat Branson Bell. As promised, we're going to talk to the cast members of Encore, and we will start with their comedian and MC, Mr. Christopher. How are you? I'm great, Bob. Yes, of course you are. I just saw the show, and it was fantastic. You got a couple of new bits in this year. You must be very excited. We're very excited about all the new changes here at the Showboat this yeah. year. Yeah, well, and a migration for you. You were hosting the lunch cruise. Now yes. you're doing the early and late dinner cruises, more responsibilities, and gosh, a whole new product. Entirely new. Our entire pre-show is new, and uh, every bit that I do is brand new in the show. Yeah, well, I absolutely can't wait to see it. Is there anything you want to tease them with? Well, just come out and uh, watch for the white bunny. Those of you that have seen the show will know what that means. Awesome. Watch for the white rabbit. There you go. <laughs> now, of course, everybody's going to want to run out here in a hurry and get a seat to see the white rabbit. How are they going to get tickets? Go to silverdollarcity.com or right. check out the phone number. Sure. We'll put both the phone number and the website on the screen. You'll definitely want to come out and see our friend Christopher perform. And Christopher is going to kick off the show, which features two new acts. Right now, I'd like you to meet Janice Martin, who is a featured performer in Encore. Welcome, Janice. Thank you. Glad to have you here with us today. Uh, we caught part of the show before everything got started, and I don't know what you want to focus on as far as your talents and abilities, but they are many, and they're all showcased in this performance. Uh, what are you really excited about? I mean, you get to showcase everything, but if you had to say, I am a... 
Uh, I am a violinist, singer, aerialist, pianist. Okay, so there isn't one. It's really hard to separate, isn't it? I actually love them all. I really do. Uh, I, I do have to say doing the aerial has been probably the most fun for me because yeah. I am the world's only flying fiddler. The world's only flying fiddler. I, I want to talk a little bit about how all this got started. Now, we're going to focus on the show, and of course in a few minutes we're going to talk to your fabulous showman as well. Uh, but as far as you're concerned, how did you get started in entertainment? What bit you first? How did you get the bug? Well, I started piano when I was four and violin when I was five and gymnastics when I was eight. And uh, my dad was a preacher, so at church we were performing and yeah. playing all the time. So I just really got into playing lots of different things, mm -hmm. and um, I just loved being able to do lots of things. Well, now I so. picked up on several things from the show. You attended Juilliard. Uh-huh. Yeah. And New when, York City. And when you went to Juilliard, was it a, a particular field of study? Uh, well, I actually majored in violin performance. I see. I, I was going to be just a violinist and just sticking with the classical violin. Yeah. And I, on the side, would play piano and sing. And, and then I started pulling them into uh, concerts and... Uh, and then I just kind of had the show bug bite me, and yeah, it does, I, it? Uh, yeah, and I just loved incorporating dance and mm -hmm. playing at the same time. So I started really going down that route, and I was definitely inspired by things like Cirque du Soleil. And yeah, is that what led to the the strap act? Is that how you became the aerialist? You were infatuated by Cirque? Absolutely. Yeah. I went to Las Vegas and saw some shows and said, I, I have to do this. Yeah, well, and you are, and you're doing it very well. Thank where, you. Where did you study? How did You don't just go buy a pair of silks and hang them and start running up and down them. Uh, well, it's very dangerous if you yeah. do that. But, um, yeah, yeah. No, I... Uh, Contrary to what people think that my mom just put up the drapes in my living room. Um, <laughs> no, I, I really, uh, I studied at a circus school. I, I've been living in New York City for um, the past eight years. Uh -huh. And uh, there's a wonderful circus school called the Skybox. Yeah. And I, uh, I've been also doing a lot of touring with my own show and with a, a group called Cirque de la Symphony. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, I officially studied, but I also picked up things as you do when you're performing as with your other you performers. Do. Yeah, there's a lot to what you do here in this show, and I know it's based on all your experiences from the other shows and the other acts you've done. And, and just to kind of tie it all together, I mean, who said to you for the first time, you should bring that to Branson? We have a boat, and we want you to perform on this boat. Uh, who brought that to you? Well, actually, my first time I was here in Branson was last April. Oh. I uh, was part of the World Fest. I was in Fiery Fiddles. Yeah. And uh, Out on Park at Silver Dollar City. Yeah. Sure. And they didn't have me playing piano and uh, singing as much. But um, uh -huh. this one, I, they, they was great because I was able to expand what I do. So from working on the, uh, in the show Out on Park, that led to the position here on the showboat. Yes. Yeah. But it is fantastic. You're thank an incredibly you. talented performer. It's a thrill and an honor to meet you, and I appreciate well, you taking the you. time to be on our show today. It's a lot of fun, yeah. thanks. But, and, and we're going to be right back, folks. Don't turn a channel. We'll be back with The Showman, uh, pretty much the other half of this incredible show called Encore here on the Showboat Branson Bell. We'll be right back. The Showboat Branch and Bell is always a busy place. As a matter of fact, we're between cruises right now. They're actually resetting the room, and we have the opportunity to meet some of the cast members of the new show called Encore. On stage here at the Branson Bell, these are the showmen. Hi, showmen. Hi, Bob. We are the showmen. Now, of course, I know you guys, but our audience doesn't. So if you don't mind, just look right at the camera and tell them who you are. Sure. Uh, my name is Cameron Hansen. I'm from Orlando, Florida, and I am the second most talented person in this group. Nice, nice. Hi, I'm Steve Parrish. I'm from Crown Point, Indiana. My favorite part about singing with these guys is when I get a solo. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I'm David Griffin. I'm from Sherman, Texas, and I watch the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Congratulations. I'm Brandon Trammell. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, and I'm a Scorpio. I like long walks on the beach, chocolate-covered strawberries. Call me. Hi, folks. Well, my name is Avila Martin. I'm from uh, Chicago, Illinois. And, um, well, just want to point out to everybody that Miss Janice Martin, 
isn't my sister. So <laughs> we'll meet her in a minute. It'll all become clear. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Nathan. I'm from Green Bay, Wisconsin, and I'm still mad that science took the color indigo out of the rainbow. Well, so now we know a little bit about each of you guys, maybe a little bit too much. But what we really want to talk about is the show. You guys are really stepping out with this new show, aren't you? Yeah, it's uh, brand new this year. It's really cutting edge for brands and some fantastic music that yeah. is going to be Everybody's going to love it. It's great yeah. for every generation. Yeah, there definitely is something for everybody. But I think my point is, now that we have a brand new show on the showboat and a beautiful new set, we'll be showing the folks some of the mechanics of so. your new set pieces. But specifically, what are some of the groups that you're covering? You know, we cover everything from uh, the Jackson 5 all yeah. the way up to NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, a little yeah. New Kids on the Block, right. some Monkees. Some Beatles. Yeah. So you're kind of getting stuff. ahead of our demographic a little bit, mm -hmm. but that's the idea, isn't it? To kind of push the envelope, yeah, we kind want of draw. Everybody to come and enjoy it and maybe experience something new, something yeah. you wouldn't find anywhere else in well, town. Well, I watched the show before we did the interview, and I've seen, the, I think I was out here for your dress rehearsal, mm -hmm. and I want to tell you, even the numbers you do that these guys may not recognize, they are done so well, I don't believe they're going to think about that at all. Well, thank you. Yeah, we, we've been working together for about a, a month now, and our harmonies are getting real great. Yeah. Um, it's getting real tight, and sure. I think people are I love it. Yeah, really I know do. they're going to. What do you guys do in the show that you really love? I mean, uh, can we pass the mic around? What What's your favorite part? What's the what's, favorite thing you do? What's my favorite part of the show? No, you ask yourself. Tell us. What do my you, favorite part of the show is the rock and roll section. You like I the rock it. and roll? And our yeah. costumes are fantastic. No glitter anywhere. No glitter. I know. Oh, it's bonus. amazing. Bonus. <laughs> Steve, what's your what's your favorite? What do you really like doing in the show? Oh, I, I really just, any time that we're all singing in six-part harmony and can really lock in something that sounds supreme, I, I that's probably, oh, probably one of my most favorite parts. Oh, and that stuff is so tight. David, how about you? I enjoy a lot of the dynamics and the acapella stuff that we do. Yeah? Brandon? I, I love our whole medley that we do. It's it's epic. You'll love it. Epic. <laughs> Avila, what do you like? Well, the same with me. The medley, the boy band medley is very uh, uh, entertaining and exciting. Uh -huh. And I think everybody will really enjoy it. So. Uh, nothing left but you, Nathan. What, what's your favorite part? They all took my answer. They did? But, uh, <laughs> my other favorite part is just doing the show and not falling down. That's always good. <laughs> Well, then everybody has something to look forward to, yeah, the fact true. that you can do the show and remain upright. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> great. That's great. He's really good at that. Yeah. Yeah, he's really good at that. Yeah. Well, so now uh, you've worked in shows here before, mm -hmm. and Steve, I know you have too. All you other guys, you're new to the showboat this year. Sure. But uh, uh, tell me now, moving from where you were, the last show was uh, we had uh, Stepping Out, we had Showstoppers, mm -hmm. now we're doing Encore. W what do you see as the progression? Are, are we really moving into what you want to do with this show and where you want to go with it? I really hope so. I'm really excited about it. Like I said, it's the first year we haven't had glitter all over our costumes. <laughs> yeah. It's the first year we've actually sang a lot of really cool progressive music. Yeah. And I hope that it's going to be something that we can continue to develop. And with six guys like this, that yeah. are this talented, we really can do anything. Well, we've been running a little B-roll while we're talking. They've seen some of this action on stage, but they haven't heard anything. You, could you do just a few seconds of something to uh, kind of yeah, sing yeah, us sure. out? Yeah, Let, let's just get this mic out here in front of you. Sing us out, fellas. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just a taste, friends. Be sure to come out here and catch these guys and Janice on the Showboat Branch and Bell. The show is called encore and you are absolutely going to want more and as speaking of more tune in every week as i bring you the entertainment news stories that are fresh and happening now here in branson just like the new show on the showboat branson bell thanks for watching friends and thanks for visiting branson this episode of branson entertainment update is brought to you by legends in concert inside the dick clark american bandstand theater and acres and arnie